Hello YouTubers, so this is a how-to video on how to wire a Valcom V1920C self-amplified speaker for personal use. Or I should say, known as the square version. So for my audio cables, I'm just going to use a 3.5mm cable for this application, or this setup. Now, usually when you buy these, you usually have both ends on there, but I chop one end off, and what you should be greeted with is one white, one red, and a bare copper. Some cases, you might deal with the green in addition to the red and the white. Some manufacturers make that this bare copper wire, in other words, which is ground. And, but you want, what you also want to do is twist your red and the white together. Like, see, this one came undone. You want to twist them. And what those wires do is that is your left and right stereo channels. Because you want your stereo channels to go into this. Because you want to combine them for this is because this is a mono device. It takes in one audio source. Or one audio channel, in other words. Now, if some cables you might get greeted with this. Two bare coppers and a red and a white. You still want to twist the red and the white together. But also you want to twist the bare coppers together as well. But keep them, you know, keep the reds and the copper separate. The left and right channels separate from the copper. Now, if you chop a cable and you see this this kind of wire here you get greedy with this nonsense take this throw in the garbage those are crappy cables that's the one of the most crappy cables you can get your hands on and those are prone to causing shorts now for my power supply source i'm just going to be using this bench power supply here i have a set at 24 volts at 250 milliamps this will run on 12 volts as well, but it's going to be a little bit on the more of the distorted side. Now, I already pre-wired this here. So what I have going on is this blue is my tip. This yellow is my ring. This black wire is my negative 24 volts. And this red is my GND. That is not ground. That is positive 24 volts. Valcom made it a little bit weird, but that's the way how they did it. I know some of you are thinking that. And I have this other end right here, you see. So now, I'm going to connect this black wire here from my bench power supply straight to this wire. Like so. So I just want to make it get a good bite. For this and then red is my positive 24 volts which is my g and d wire that and then here's my here's my tip in my ring this will be my this green alligator lead will be my tip twist that so it doesn't come loose and this yellow here you see is going to be my ring. So I got that going there. So now, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to use this 3.5mm cable I already pre-put together. My stereo channels are twisted together. So now, we said this was my ring. My ring's gonna go straight to this bare copper wire, the 3.5 mil jack, you see. And then, this is my tip. My tip's gonna be the red and the white wire on the 3.5 mil cable. And when I say tip, I'm talking about the very, very, very tip of this cable. That's my positive. So there's that. Now, for the sake of my audio source here, we're just going to be using we're just going to be using this laptop. Now I'm going to gently put this back on the table like this, so you could hear it. Make sure my leads are not, you know, shorted, which they're not. Now, 
if you have this in a permanent install, you're, you're not gonna do what I'm doing here. So now I'm gonna fire on this bench power supply. I heard a pop. You know, here's some ground loops. So now I should click play on the computer. Let's see, I can adjust the volume. There we go. So yeah, that is, this is how you wire a Valcom V1920C self-amplifier speaker for personal use. Here's your wire right here that you would want to use. It could be either just basic four conductor telephone cable, or you could use the Cat5 cable, which you could pick up real easily at your local Home Depot or Lowe's. I don't, if you're going to use go with the Cat5 route, you only need, only need to use two pairs. So you don't have to use all eight of them for this. Because this is a four-wire device. I'm just going basic with this because that's what I have. And I don't have to waste Cat5 wire in the process.